Hey, what's up, everybody? You like the title set? I got a new helmet from SRU. So, those of y'all that follow me on Instagram, plug right here. Uh, I see me, I had this helmet for a little while. I've been teasing this helmet for a little while. Um, this is SRU's new fast helmet attachment uh, type 2. Let me take this thing off. So, a little quick, a little background story on SRU. SRU is, a, I believe, they're from a station in Taiwan. I'm not really forgot what they were stationed at, but they usually 3D print, 3D print um, airsoft items or different airsoft guns or different airsoft um, accessories. One of their main things that they sell, which a lot of people go for, are the mask. They have a version one, which I'll post right here, which is comes everything included. The fast home is included. It's all molded into one piece. I guess at SRU they decided to make something a little more slicker, a little more easier to look down the sights and something a little more lighter. So they made this. This is the Type 2 SRU mask. Now, I got this thing because I wanted something to take my face, especially when I do close quarters and uh, indoor games because it's getting blasted in the face when a bunch of BBs ain't cool. But I wanted something with a lot of visibility and I have a big problem with sweating and my lenses always fog up. No matter what I use, no matter how much defog I use, I always end up fogging up. Even when I use the like, little glasses or I use anything. By the way, excuse the mess in the back if you can see it. Final month, I will be moving. This is my last month in this place. So, expect for you to be a few years to be at a different location. So, I decided to go, if I'm going to get a mask or something full, need something cool. So, I decided to go with the Type 2 um, SRU mask. Why the Type 2? Well, besides the Type 1 being a little bit more expensive, the Type 2 was something that's a little more sleeker, and I also could use my existing fast helmet. I didn't want to keep buying all this stuff, and then I have the stuff lying around, and I don't use it. So I decided, since I like this helmet, if I can have something to add on to the helmet, it'll be even a double win. So SRU makes this version 2 to attach to any fast helmet. If you can see right here on the side, it literally slides on the rail, and it's really, this thing is sturdy. Like, if you put it together and you do it right, it's really sturdy. Um, it does come in two pieces, well, four pieces. Actually, it comes in three pieces, sorry. Yeah, four pieces, I'm right. When you do get in the box, the box is very well presented. It's very well padded, as you've seen in this picture. Everything is really well packed as well for the long journey, so you never want nothing really breaking. When you get it, it's in three or four pieces. This part right here is separated. Then this part right here is another piece. And the two ear flaps on the side, which I'm gonna talk about a little bit later, are separate pieces. And with an easy diagram that you get, you can easily screw it in together. Now, me personally, I use a little bit of Loctite, not much, it's a little bit of medium grain Loctite on the screws where you screw them in to get a more sturdier, stronger um, attachment to it because I do a lot of running and I didn't want any rattling, so I wanna make it as sturdy as possible. Um, you can use a little bit of Loctite. You don't have to. That's what I did. You don't really have to do what I do. It's just something I like to overdo my stuff just to make sure I get the best strength out of it as possible. So, a little features on the mask. Besides it looking cool, I would say, some people say it got a Halo vibe. I think it's more like a Doom or Titanfall. Yeah, we could go with Titanfall, I guess. Or even some parts of Call of Duty. I don't really know. I don't play Call of Duty that well. So... <laughs> Some of the features, the reason why I decided to go with this other than other masks or anything like that is on the market. One of the cool features that I like is the flip part. Now, if you play an indoor game or you're outdoor or whatever, you have a helmet on, you get finished playing, you're back at your spawn or you're back at your table getting ready for the next game, taking the mask off, taking your gear off or whatever, it gets kind of tiresome. Then when it's time to get ready, you have to rush to put the stuff back on. Where if you got everything fitted comfortably, all you got to do, flip the top, it comes open, you get breathability, you can talk fine and everything. It's convenience. Even with the mask closed, you still can hear and talk really well. And it's not as hot as most people think. Um, right up here, it's not a complete seal. So you got ventilation here. If you get a certain fight by a helmet, you got ventilation on your helmet. And it's not like a tight seal around, which is good. 
Another thing about this helmet by SRU, which is really cool, is the fans. So these circles right here are both turbo silent fans that blow air this way into the front of the visor, which prevents fogging. Now, I took this for the first time over the weekend to play and literally no fog whatsoever. And me, I have a big fogging issue and literally all day playing, no fog. Now, one thing I wish they did that made the fogs, made the fans ease. Well, I wish kind of made the fans battery powered, but I get it. It's be a little bit more extra money and stuff like that. So they do require, you can see right here, there's two USBs, one for each fan. Now, the wire is pretty long. You go down and fit into your pocket, but to run, it could be a little bit troublesome. This is just a temporary setup to actually figure out a more permanent way to set it up. But, you know, have a little pouch that people use for GoPros anyway. And get yourself a um, solar powered um, little battery pack. This is solar power, so if I'm outdoor playing, it's getting charged regardlessly. And it doesn't have to recharge. I can just leave it outside the window when I'm done playing the game and it charges itself. And it has two USB ports for either side, so I can run both fans simultaneously. Um, I really wish that it was like. I don't know, like I said, battery operated eternally, but you know what? It would raise the cost up. And I get they're trying to lower the cost, reason why they made the version twos, or one of the reasons why they made the version twos. But I gotta admit, with the both fans on, like if I if I'm put both fans in right now, and you're not gonna hear it at all. Let's get this one in. Whoa. Okay. Now, I don't think you can hear it, but it's very, very low. Hum. I don't know if you hear it or not. And when you're playing the game, unlike most fans, most fan systems out there, or some fan systems not, especially the low end cheap ones, it's very noisy. It gives you a headache. You can't hear what's going on. And this is very a lot going on, especially if your GoPro's right there to pick it up. But with these silent fans, you don't hear anything, especially when y'all playing and stuff. You can still hear your team and you still communicate and you're not being overbearing with the fans. And they use Revolut Juice. I had this running all day over the weekend, never unplugged it and I'm still at full bars and this is not even a high-end solar power battery pack and then still fully charged. Another thing I like about it, the why SRU do they helmets is that you still use your GoPro. Now, you need to angle it a little bit differently or you can angle it a little more downward, but it doesn't get into your, like, the lens doesn't block anything. So pretty much while you have it here, you don't have to worry about this blocking your view. Even when you flip this fully open, it's still not going to hit your GoPro. So you don't have to worry about this flipping open, hitting your GoPro, knocking the alignment out or whatever, this getting damaged. It's actually perfect height and allows you to use your GoPro with this. And it doesn't add that much weight. Now, to be honest with you, with this in the back, it kind of balances it out. Another thing I like about this is it's not heavy. It's 3D printed, but it's really sturdy material. Material, excuse me. It's just kind of like, like a polymer material. Um, you can tell them they put a lot of time and energy into crafting this thing and making this thing as durable and good as they say anything you'll buy at a regular retail store. It's not something cheaply made that you know is going to break and all soon you sneeze. Even the glances are ballistic rated with six millimeter BBs, I think up to 500 PSI or something like that. I could be wrong. And it's, we don't have to worry about nothing breaking and stuff. And the lenses are interchangeable and they got different colors, which is cool. And the little button right here that raises it up, it's a little stiff, which is good. And you push it down. You don't have to push the button, which to me is good. You don't worry about BB hitting it by mistake in the middle of a game, like you're getting a shot at and then it opens up by mistake. BB can hit this all day and it won't go because it has to come down. And the likelihood of a BB having enough force to push this down is highly unlikely. And if that happens, you got a lot more problems because somebody's shooting nothing more than real BB, real metal BBs versus <laughs> plastic. Um, besides that, it fits really well. It's a little snug. It has different adjustments from extra large, large, and medium. Right now, I have it on the extra large configuration because I have a big ass head. But they come with the parts where you can actually change this to make it to a medium configuration. Um, I choose large because, like I said, I got a big head. But you can actually adjust this to the size of your head, which is awesome. You do need a fast helmet that has the mounts on the side. So you can connect it properly and it'll be sturdy. And just to show that you can still talk and breathe in this thing. 
see once you get the wires out the way i can literally talk all day and stuff it in a, so I'm putting it on my head and not have no issues now you do get kind of a semi muffled talk like sound when you're talking to this thing it kind of sounds like i know like i'm the mandalorian but it's not so bad where people can't hear me people are like what what and with the fans running it doesn't get as hot as most people think we're getting this thing it does get a little humid but once you have the fans on you're running you really don't feel it and then once the game's over once you flop the top it's like all that air pushes straight out and then you, you're cool again and then with the fans going you'll cool off even faster the one thing that i must say about this helmet that does happen is if you're running around you're like me you will sweat regardlessly in any well anything you're really going to sweat so you definitely want to make sure you got padding or something. This is up sweat, but there's nothing crazy and nothing like that. Nothing more different than any other game when you're playing, you know, running around and stuff. It's just when you're outside, you can, you know, depending on what type of headgear you're wearing, I guess headgear you're using, you might be able to wipe it a little more easier. But then again, all you got to do is flip the top out and flip the top open and wipe it real quick, close it. Overall, I have to say the SRU Type 2 helmets actually gets a 10 out of 10 in my book. They did a very good job in the construction. It's not cheaply made, and you can also can see they put a lot of time and in, in detail in the design. It has a nice slick design, and you are also able to allow them to look down the sights. I had plenty of paintball masks, and I was playing paintball, and a lot of those masks prevented you to look down the sights properly, and you have problems, you couldn't see. It was very a headache. With the SRU mask, it has a detent right here on the cheek, which allows you to sit down the sight with a fairly low riser. I have a 30 millimeter riser, I believe. I can look down my sight, no issues. And I'm not even, I'm using my regular vector. I'm not using anything with a high rise or anything like that, like my DMR. With my DMR, I know I'm able to look down the sights. Oh, I'll say this is a great buy for anybody that's looking for something cool to have. The people can say, oh, wow, you got a cool mask on that aerosol feel, or you play a lot of indoor games, and you're looking for some type of protection for your face rather than just the standard mesh over the mouth, mesh over the ears, or even like a face cloth. This will protect your face and your ears, as I say right here on the side, and you'll get a lot of people saying you look cool in it. Now, the price tag is $180. I believe this time of this video is being made. And I believe it's free shipping. Now, for that price tag, to me, it's not bad with the Type 1 being almost 260 because it comes with the fast helmet and everything more integrated. I feel like this is a great buy for those that already got a fast helmet and just want to add something onto it to make it more cooler. And then with the fans built in, it makes it very much easier for you to stay defogged the whole day and play. So... I, overall, I can say this is definitely worth it, definitely worth a good buy. And if you have a chance, check out SRU, SRU.GGB.com, uh, check out the other products they have. They have a lot of Bill Pug, a lot of kits for current guns to make the case a little more futuristic. Their whole theme is making more futuristic looking airsoft rifles or airsoft replicas or airsoft anything to get the whole futuristic look, which is actually pretty cool. They also have armor that goes with this, but right now for the price tag, I feel like it's a little high, it's actually just for the front. You only get the front chest and the um, elbow pads, sorry, the um, shoulder pads. You normally get nothing else for the back, so I feel like it's kind of not really cost effective right now for the price. But if you want an overall cool looking look, or if you want something for a mill sim that's supposed to be stepped in the future, you can't get nothing better than this. I mean, you could pair this up with anything and it looks cool. And it also comes with multiple colors. At the time of this video, they have the black, which you see here, the OD green and black the pink and the white. Um, so we have tons of options. So all in all, okay in my book. So if you'd like to subscribe, tell me you like the video and tell me if you want to see any of you anything else. And I like most of my videos, my new videos, I do get in trouble with my wife. She approved this. Later guys.